हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज वृशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल दी लेयर्स ऑफ ओ एस आई मॉडल एंड टी सी पी आई पी मॉडल विथ एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव मैंशन अ कम्प्लीट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एंड सिक्योरिटी सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टी सी पी वर्सेज यू डी पी प्रोटोकॉल एज पर यूर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन See here, TCP and UDP. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol. TCP is Connection Oriented Protocol. Means first sender establish the connection with receiver, then they send the data. UDP is Connection Less Protocol. They directly send the data to the particular system, whether it is ready or not. TCP is Reliable Protocol. Means they provide the assurance guarantee that receiver receive a particular data and udp it unreliable protocol there is no any guarantee tcp is slower as compared to udp because tcp follows flow control and error control mechanism udp is faster protocol because there is no any mechanism is present tcp their header size is 20 bytes and udp their header size is 8 bytes in tcp acknowledgement segment is present because receiver send acknowledgement to the sender whether they receive a particular message or not and in udp there is no acknowledgement segment is present now the tcp they follows the flow control mechanism means too many packets cannot be sent to the receiver at the same time using tcp but udp didn't follow any flow control mechanism here tcp also follow error checking mechanism suppose receiver didn't receive a particular data they check or identify a particular error and retransmit those data again but udp they does not follow any error checking mechanism in tcp data sequencing take place means all the data in sequence wise they send between sender and receiver in udp no data sequencing take place tcp is a point to point transmission only means they send the data or transfer the data to accurate receiver exact receiver but udp broadcast the data to all over the network tcp control the congestion according the network traffic they send the data but udp they not control the congestion that's why they lost the data now next point is in tcp this protocol is used by some http https ftp smtp telnet this kind of application layer protocols and this udp protocol is used by dns dscp tftp snmp protocols now the one of the most important point is applications tcp protocol mainly used where is a connection oriented services like military services internet searching when you search something on internet they gives the result according uh, you are searching right then email then file transfer but udp it is used in some online streaming videos movies or audio audios means where are live streaming live sessions at that time udp protocol is used some online gamings voice over notes and some iot devices so these are the main applications of tcp and udp now see here in this diagram in tcp client first maintain the connection between the server and server suppose receive the packet they send the acknowledgement okay means it is one to one point communication is there in udp there is no any establishing connection between client and server they broadcast all the data towards the network so there is suppose server send request client gives response again client gives response there is no acknowledgement in between that right so this is called as udp protocol so as per your exam point of view they ask the, this question like give the difference between tcp and udp for six marks here you have to explain any six points with diagram and with examples so thank you keep learning